Loving yourself is the best thing ever. Loving each other is the best, is the best thing ever. If you don't love yourself, who will love you first? Who will, who will be, who will motivate yourself? You need to start by loving yourself first. So that the energy challenge is not. And then yes. at school we say, um, sometimes one is stressing, sometimes it's a bullying thing, sometimes a body shaming, sometimes it's a body shaming thing, you know. And then I was a victim of um, being bullied, you know. And then I'm a talent, I'm a talent, I'm a talent, I'm a talent, I'm a talent. So I wanna wait again. Maybe killing myself is the best thing ever. So I overdose the pills. What I'm trying to say is that whenever you're going through something difficult, find someone to talk to immediately. Find someone who will talk to you. Find someone who will tell you not to kill yourself. Who will tell you love yourself. No one is going to be like you if you don't love yourself. If you're going through stress, maybe back home, your parents are fighting, your parents are no longer together. Don't go through that. Don't ever go through something like that. Just keep reading your books. Just keep focusing on schools. We have bad friends. We have some people that don't want us, don't want to see us succeed. If you're going to call your friend when your friend are not know what to do, you don't have to do it.
like we'll talk to your teachers guys they're not teachers to teach you only they're here to motivate you to elevate you and like to to guide you and lead you so when you have a problem facing like something like bullying something like we know what we face at school we face peer pressure we face bullying and things like that so when you don't have someone to talk to just find a teacher to talk to an LO teacher because I'm a, a people who teach LO are very understanding so you, you find someone like that and then you talk to the person. Committing suicide guys and it's not a solution. And then if you peer pleasure, I don't believe in peer pleasure because in most days we, we have to learn to be independent. I mean guys, we don't need to go to, to bless us to have an iPhone. You need to work for something. If you want something, you have to work for it. So now I was very inspired by many people of which it made me join Cleaner Sorento. Well, it was like on my cell phone's mom when I saw the poster and then immediately I asked him, can I join the group? It was at night, that's when I texted and then bang boom, I was like, I can come and clean. Most of the people were like, why was it done more and things like that? Why food you clean and things like that? When you're helping your community, guys, that's where you get opportunities to be someone that you want to be. I never knew that I'd be here standing as confident as I am, talking to you and like giving you tips on how you should go and the steps. But then guys, in your mouth we and you do it out of your own purpose, out of your own choice. So whatever that you want to do guys, you don't need someone to tell you booty. Don't do that, it's not free for you. If you want to be a soccer player, be a soccer player. You don't need someone to tell you booty. You don't have soccer boots. Why do you want to play soccer? You don't need someone to tell you booty to mark on cool for money. Do whatever that you want to do, guys. Do whatever that you want to do. There's always motivation out there. We guys, we teenagers, we believe that there's I'm gonna be outside. Guys, there's a life out there. You need to know, you need to plan right now, Uti. Mam Kumala, grade 9 or grade 8. Mam Sen Kuma, Yan High School. You need to know, Uti. Mam figure to grade 10, you figure it in. So that you guys cannot go to grade 10 and then cause the things that you used to do here. Because when you reach grade 10, you, you meet new people who are gonna distract you. You meet a stage whereby people are there to destroy or to make you. So it's up to you, Uti. You take a good lane or a bad lane. But then, in, all, in everything that you do, think for yourself. Think about yourself because mostly we think that we're doing things for other people. We are doing it because you're doing them a favor. You're doing a teacher a favor. You're not doing anyone a favor, guys. You are here because you want to make your life a better life. I am here because because not all of us have access to each life. If you want to reach life, you have to wait for it. It can't just come to you. Uti, I want to be you, you, you need to, to work hard, guys. That's the reason why we have education. That's the reason why we come to school. But in order for it to work, you need also to respect your teachers. Let it not be teacher versus student. It's not like that. You, you respect the person. Not because he's a security, a bodyguard, or a teacher. You just respect the idea of that. Uti, you don't know, you don't die. Let's not, we people, mostly what I've noticed about us, you judge someone by, by the work that the person does, who judge the person because it's security, and then you, you, you tell yourself, I'm not going to listen to the person because the person is a security guard. Whether he is a security guard or something else, at the end of the day, he's a human being, guys. Let us respect the idea that a person is a human being. We, we, we say Uti, we want to go to private schools and things like that. Private schools and the schools are the same. We just don't want to have respect. In private schools, you find someone respecting a security guard as if the security guard is a teacher and things like that. So it, it's not respect, it's, it starts with you guys who choose respect. You start respecting yourself because mama's told you, you're not going to respect the other person standing in front of you. I am with you. So the aim is to respect our you guys. Give credit to yourself and in, in everything that you do, whether you play soccer or you, you go in mass, in, in the what it's called, give yourself a little motivation something just to make you break maybe you got 35 over 50 just buy yourself something good now next time i'm gonna work hard and do something better than 85 like give yourself credit whenever i do something good i reward myself that's how you're gonna go up high there so guys in life we meet people who are gonna destroy us we meet people who are gonna make us smoke we meet people who are gonna make us do the things that we never intended to do so to to like who to know in end of you guys, you need to help people. That's why most people say, show me your friends and I'll tell you your future. It's not a bad saying actually. It, it actually tells you. So about a person 
all are happening at the moment, you should listen because our parents have been, have lived before. By as booty, let's do this is how And then we find ourselves we party a lot, of which people in grade eight, you find people in grade eight doing grade eight and like they party, they do all of those things. That's not the right time guys to do those things. You can't be focusing on school and then at the end of the day you're focusing in general. It's not a balance rule, it's not a good balance rule. So in life, the calling you may lose cards. There are some things you should set boundaries with yourself. If someone is going to come to you and be a bad behavior or act for any peer pressure, just know where you stand. This is also feel about just know where you stand. If you know where you stand, you will know you will be able to tackle many problems and solutions. So, mama says, what you made. Just remind yourself everything while you're here. Me not my mind to go to school. I want this soft life. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to end up being something that I don't even know. That's why I went to school. If I wanted to drop out, I would drop out. But I don't want to drop out because I know what I want in life. So, in order for you guys to know what you want in life, set boundaries. See, check out your friends. Do they want something good for you? Are they there for you when you're in, in bad situation, when you're facing tough times? You should check out those things because some of your friends, guys, are your worst behavior, are, are your worst enemies. You should know that. But not time. So it's like that anyway. You need to know when I have friends, Unga sees I'm saying Not thinking of Uti I'm not talking about that. We we face difficult times in our lives, home situations, school situations. Just have a friend to talk to, a teacher to talk to. Some of us are performing at it, that's it. You, you you don't go to the teacher of your booty. Men are members subject, you're just gonna tell yourself full time, say that's the one I take for, say the one at the end of the day. It's not how it works, guys. Life is very difficult, but it's up to you, Uti. Do you do you give credit to yourself? Are you gonna work hard to, to like to make things work? So can we want soft life, but question is, are you gonna work for that soft life? Or are you gonna sit down and wait for someone to carry you up to that soft life? No one is gonna take you to soft life. It's up to you guys. It's up to you.